London Uncovered as we are soaring onto a new episode and today we are talking about finding freedom yes the sweetest word in any language for we all desire total freedom in our lives to do what we want and when we want more freedom is more life people fight for it steal for it starve for it kill for it and even die for it the dictionary defines freedom as the power or right to act, speak or think as one wants and the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. They say individuals have to manage internal and external freedoms. Internal freedom is to expand who they are and external freedom to expand what they do. Some of freedoms sought after are freedoms of association, freedom of belief, freedom of speech, freedom to express oneself, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom to choose one state in life, freedom of education, and above all, freedom from fear, bondage, and slavery. On the 6th of January, 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt cited four freedom in the context of a contemporary global challenges. And they were freedom of expression, freedom of worship, freedom from want and freedom from fear. A recent research showed that eight things people desire but cannot attain it. They are happiness, money, freedom, peace, joy, balance, fulfillment and confidence. It is true that freedom is different things to different people. So how does one achieve it? If you think freedom is feeling, then awaken it. If you think freedom is time, then make it. If you think freedom is a decision, then decide it. If freedom is strength, then train it. And if freedom is living without fear, then fight it. George Krokos, in his poem, Universal Freedom, says, freedom from hunger and freedom from pain, freedom from loss and so freedom from gain, freedom to live and freedom to die, freedom to laugh, and freedom to cry, freedom to speak and freedom to listen, freedom to act based on a wise decision, freedom from hate and freedom from love, freedom of below and freedom of above, freedom of the past and freedom of the present, freedom of the future and what it can represent, freedom from war and freedom from peace, freedom to begin and freedom to cease, freedom from sickness and freedom of health, freedom from poverty and mishandled wealth, freedom from wrong and freedom of being right, freedom of the day and freedom of the night, freedom to choose and freedom to reject, freedom to imagine what's there to expect, freedom from lust and freedom from greed, freedom from anger and freedom from greed, freedom from jealousy and freedom from pride, freedom from within and freedom from outside. So let's go and ask people and see what they think about finding freedom.
and let's see what Sue has to say about it. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? This is freedom right now, what we're doing here. That we can stand in this beautiful square with the sun shining and I can share my thoughts with you freely without interruption, without being uh, told I can't say that or I can't do that. It's, it's a beautiful place to be where you can let your mind wander and find itself, and find depth of life and beyond the future. So Sue, so, what does one have to do to achieve freedom? It requires a lot of letting go of oneself and letting go of one's thoughts about what we should be, what we ought to be, who we might be. Just learning to be. That's right for me, that's about it. What message would you give to everyone, Sue? That it's worth pursuing, it's worth seeking freedom and it's worth knowing the, the joy of being free to be yourself. Keep, keep seeking. Sue, that was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sunday. And let's see, who do we have next? And it's none other than Peter. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom means to me the chance to learn stuff. So when you know stuff, when you're educated, then it means that you can get more control of yourself, you can get more control of other stuff, you can get more control of what you do and how you react to people. So freedom is about education for me. How does one achieve freedom, Peter? By being educated, by educating yourself, by learning, and of course I'm wearing a collar, by being educated in the great teacher of them all, Jesus Christ. What message would you give to everyone? Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Go to school with Jesus. Peter, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's right. <laughs> and let's see, who do we have now? And she is none other than Mary. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom to me means having the ability to do the things that please you, but being mindful uh, about other people around you. How does one achieve that? You achieve that by trying to lead a very honest life, uh, being honest and true to yourself and um, accepting criticism when it comes and uh, being positive about life in general. Mary, what message would you give to the world? Let's um, thrive and fight for freedom. It's, if we are all free and respect one another, we will um, have the freedoms of life. Mary, once again, you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, Sanjay.
and let's see what Tom has to say on this subject. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom is one of the most important things that we can have as um, human beings. And if you look at um, the human history, you know, there's been a lot of um, slavery, um, it's been in a modern day human um, trafficking, slavery. Uh, so that's all rooted in people controlling you um, and, and even bringing in laws to control um, certain demographics. And, and for me, myself, um, you know, my family's from Nigeria. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of um, slavery you know, going on in Africa. People being tra transported to America. So for me, it really, really doesn't sit well um, saying that you can curtail someone's freedom because um, freedom is an ev you know, every man and woman's right. Um, so I support um, things like uh, Amnesty International uh, because they, um, they fight for people's freedom. And I, I kind of think that, why have we got something like Amnesty International fighting for a basic human right? But that's the human condition. You know? You're always going to get people who want to control other people through laws, um, through coercion, um, so, you know, it just really, really gets on my nerves that that's happening now. So that's why I like to give money to them, I support them in what they do. Um, but I, in the back of my mind, I think that this is something that we shouldn't be fighting. We're, you know, we're in the 21st century now. This should, you know, everybody should be free. How does one achieve freedom, Tom? So if you're oppressed, um, the only, the, I mean, the only thing you can do is fight in, in whatever way you can. I mean... I'm not really sure sure if there's a template for doing that. Um, I know that in uh, Myanmar at the moment, uh, the people there they're fighting for their lives literally, and they're dying. Um, you know, they're being uh, targeted by airstrikes. I mean, I mean, what what kind of world do we live in when that's happening? And the world is given platitudes. Oh, this is terrible. There's no act actual action going on. So this is what I'm saying. You know, for, sometimes you have to die. Uh, to, for your rights and those people over there I applaud them because they are literally dying every single day and that's sometimes what you have to do you have to literally shed blood to uh, gain freedom what message would you give to the world Tom just fight you know fight for your freedoms fight for people who are being oppressed um, you know fight in any way you can because if you don't fight for them if they don't fight for themselves then what kind of world do we live in do we just accept what's going on you know, that's not good enough is it Tom as always, it was touching. Thank you very much. And let's see, who do we have now? And he's none other than Edward. Good morning, Edward. Good morning. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom to me personally means um, the ability to do things that I'd like to do. Um, in this day and age, especially the troubling times we're in at the moment, that's not a great deal. Um, people want to be able to go to the pub. They want to be able to go on their holidays. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, that's not possible. And um, unfortunately, we have to deal with that. The important thing to remember is what is my freedom, what I regard as freedom, isn't necessarily the same as you or anyone else in the world. My inability to go to the pub or go on holiday is nothing compared to some people in the world whose personal freedom might be just to live a happy life to earn some money, to live in a nice place. Personal freedom is exactly that. It's personal to each single person. So how does one achieve personal freedom? Again, as it's individual tastes, do whatever makes you happy. Um, it's got to be said, sometimes uh, things like laws may interfere with that, uh, but they are there for a reason. Enjoy yourself, try and make the best of your life and the best of yourself within the law. I suppose you can also look at helping people. That's another form of freedom. And what better freedom could there be than helping someone else hopefully achieve a little bit of happiness in their life as well. Edward, what message would you give to the world? These are troubling times. Everyone at the moment is struggling. I don't think I've met a single person who isn't having issues these days. Personal freedom is more important than ever. 
maybe you've got to wind back on what you want in life temporarily until we can all be happy and free again to do whatever we want. The important thing to remember is that time will come. Maybe a little while coming, but it is around the corner. Edward, thank you very much. No worries, thank you. And let's see what Darren has to say about freedom. Good morning, Darren. Morning, Sanjay. Tell us, what does freedom mean to you? Freedom means to me uh, financial freedom. If I could be mortgage free, less bills, things like that, that's, that's what freedom would mean to me. And that's me personally, not, you know, in any generic sense. To me, financial freedom would be fantastic to live a life where work comes second. So how do you achieve that? Work hard, same as I've done all my life. Work hard and hopefully, you know, once the mortgage is paid off, life will be easy. What message would you give to the world? Message to the world, you know, hopefully we're coming to the end of a pandemic and hopefully we can enjoy each other again and meet up with friends, family and all get together. Darren, thank you very much. No problem, Sanjo, thank you. As we come to the end of this episode and we've been talking about finding freedom and we can see that freedom its foundation is built on sacrifice maintained by the strength of belief wounded by separatism healed by patriotism and is always destroyed by disunion and freedom of religion is the backbone of Western society and the foundation of the Judeo-Christian values these freedoms are not afforded by most people living around the world. The value of freedom cannot be overstated. It's the foundation that gives all of us the ability to live as we choose. It is a gift and those of us who enjoy it must protect it with all that we have. The only limitation on freedom is that it should be legal, possible and not harmful to anyone else. We often think that freedom has to do with appearance, financial situations, or being able to buy new things. The truth is, freedom is the physical, mental, and emotional well-being to feel good about ourselves in all circumstances. So let's go and set ourselves free from every bondage.